by residents of the coastal hamlet. The idea is to uplift the spirit and the surroundings of this community. Jay Lee Polso filed this report for us. In spontaneous is the come out the face portrait, you know. Spontaneous is perfect. Lovely. I love your job. Borjo Kanin an artist originally from Turkey, now making the paintbrush talk in other hands. And the hands of Mzengi Siyan Tsai makes the paintbrush speak with authority. Borjo spotted his talent and has let him loose. These walls, a testament of his skills. I've never painted, I, I just did um, portraits, like pencil and charcoal portraits on the, until I met Borjo showed me how to paint. I picked up first because I did, I did know how to draw. So that's how I said. Just like doors are now opening for Mchengisi, Borjo hopes this project will uplift other people from Sea Vista. She wants this community to shape their own environment, turning the dull and dreary into works of art. They are looking end of the job and they're proud they self. And our community countries here, the European people, guest people coming, tourists coming, they were looking and they see African soul. The whole idea is based on the idea of doing it for yourself. The community is also involved in other empowerment projects. The products produced here are sold generating an income, but these women are also learning new skills. African design, okay? Yeah. And she bought us machines coming from other countries. Yeah. Turkish ladies gave yeah. us machines to sew. Uh, me, I'm, I'm, I have made a, a sport bag and then a smart bag for a person. Me, I'm staying here many, many years ago. I'm growing, growing up here, but I'm really glad for the lady from so far, heartbroken and see black people think the, the problem they are staying. Really, for her it's not nice. This project falls under the umbrella of Borjo's non-profit organization, Ocean Smile. Her motto, giving a hand, teaching a community that everyone benefits when skills and knowledge is shared. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, St. Francis Bay in the Eastern Cape.